Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? All right, Aries, let's get into this. Birds, angels, guys. Messages for Aries regarding love. For Aries, please. Regarding love. All right, Aries, I'm going to start with you and your energies. Tell me about the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection. What is Aries thinking or feeling? Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with, Spirit. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Maybe you and this person aren't communicating at this time. I feel like there's maybe a disconnect between you distance of some sort and that's why this situation is calling for you to have faith because maybe at this time it doesn't look like it's gonna go the way that you hoped it would all right tell me what's going on in the mutual energies here what is going on in this connection spirit for aries Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. I feel like something happened to, yeah, and I have at the bottom of the deck reconciliation. So something must have happened between you to cause this disconnect. All right, so let's see, Aries. Tell me about Aries spirit. Tell me more about the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection. Tell me more, please past life connection x memories you have had a connection with this person in the past so this is someone that you know from the past aries okay so tell me about the person that aries is in a connection with or thinking about at this time oh i wanted to see we got far apart distance separation divide distance is affecting the strength of this connection exactly what I was thinking. There's some sort of disconnect here, some sort of distance. Okay, what are the mutual energies here, Spirit, for Aries? And this other person, mutual energies, please. Hidden motives, deception, hiding, cheating, someone's hiding their true motives. You know what I'm seeing? Um, I'm more seeing someone wearing a mask. Or maybe there was some sort of deception between you that caused this disconnect. Something caused this disconnect. And I think it was someone not really being true here. Bottom of the deck, I have moving forward. Cycles, endings, beginnings. You are moving forward into a new chapter. So I feel like someone left this connection. Ooh. Someone could be married as well. That's not for everyone, but it's there. So Aries, I have you on this side. I have your person over here, but feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you because the energies can be vice versa. Let's get into the tarot. Keep in mind, this is a general reading Aries. So just because you're watching this video does not mean it's the reading for you. You will know pretty soon here if this is your reading. If it's not your reading, then that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Check out my other videos for Aries. Um, I've uploaded several over the last couple weeks. Or you can check the other placements in your birth chart if they're more prominent. All right, so give me some more insight into this connection, please. This is resonating for you at any time. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how it's resonating for you. I'd love to hear from you. Um, even though I can't respond to all of the comments, I do read them all. All right, Aries, let's get into this. Tell me more about Aries in this connection. 
Now, Aries, you're on this side for me to avoid confusion. That's what I'm going to be pointing towards, but feel free to flip it. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. I just heard waiting. Three of Pentacles reversed. You've been waiting for something here, which is weird. That's not what temperance usually means for me as a reader, but that's like exactly what I thought when I took that card out. And then, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, I have the two of wands. And in this deck specifically, it does look like they're just sitting around waiting for something. So, okay. Tell me more for Aries, please. Tell me more, please, for Aries. Oh, I got two. Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. Wow. Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. I feel like this person is like, you're happily ever after. Maybe you saw yourself having a family with this person. A lot of um, feelings here, emotions. We'll see when I clarify what that's all about. It's at the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune. Maybe it just wasn't the right time for you and this other person, Aries. It's been a painful road. I have the Three of Swords here with the Eight of Swords reversed. I feel like you've been kind of in a mental just not able to let this go. Okay, tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with, please. High Priestess reversed. Queen of Swords. So this person has something to say, Aries. Um, something's coming out. Tell me more about this person for Aries, please. Tell me more about this other person, please. Could also be that there has been emotional distance here. The Queen of Swords does tend to have, she's hard to read. Uh, she keeps a lot of her emotions to herself. Very good at boundaries, keeping people kind of at bay here. The Sun. strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. There's something coming to light here, something that is going to take your person a lot of courage to say. It's like this person's ready to shed light on something, possibly related to a long-term commitment, family, children with a Ten of Pentacles at the bottom here. Okay, tell me about this connection. What's happening here? Whoa. Okay. I wasn't going to take them, but they told me to. Six of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Swords reverse. Something ended here. It wasn't fair or balanced. I feel like this was a, um, this is an ending that someone wants to move on from with the Ten of Swords reverse. Forgive and move on. Queen of Cups reverse. There has been kind of an emotional attachment to this, to whatever happened between you. This could be both of you feeling this way or one of you because both of you are here. This is mutual energy. At the bottom. The chariot. Wow. Cancer energy. Yeah, this is definitely all about moving forward here with the chariot. Moving on, moving past this. Maybe someone coming to see you. Hmm. I'm going to use a different deck to clarify. Let me clarify these energies, please. Let's get to the bottom of this. What's going on for Aries in this connection? Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's okay if it doesn't resonate for you. Um, but if it does resonate, let me know how it's resonating. Okay, let's get into this, Aries. What are you waiting for? Tell me about the uh, temperance card, please. Why is Temperance here? Seven of Cups reverse. What's this? Five of Coin. Wow. Okay. So you've been wait you've been kind of left out in the cold here. I feel like um you've been uh it's almost like you were confused as to why things went down the way they did. Why you're the one left behind. 
We got one more for temperance, please. It's like you're getting new clarity now after time has passed. Ten of coin. Hmm. Page of swords reverse. There's some, yeah, it's almost like you, you, you've been wanting clarity about the situation that happened between you and this person. This person could be married or in a long-term commitment, um, or perhaps you thought this was going to go down that road and you don't understand why things didn't work out or how, why things went the way they did. What's this three of pentacles reverse here? The magician. There's the three of pentacles reverse here. The lovers. Wow, Gemini energy. So I feel like you're trying to manifest a a new choice. Six of cups with the past. This is regarding the past. You're manifesting something from the past that didn't work out previously. Like it didn't work out before it, or there was some sort of interference before. But you're still kind of manifesting this. Yeah, something that ended in the past. Ten of swords, six of cups. The devil. Yikes. Almost like um, you really have not been able to let this go, Aries. There's a tie or a bond that you have with this person. What's this Ten of Cups with the Page of Cups down here? What's this Ten of Cups with the Page of Cups down here for Aries? Queen of Coin. What else can you tell me? Oh. What else can you tell me about the Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups, please? Knight of Wands reversed. Three of Wands reversed. The Star Aquarius energy. Again with the waiting. You've been waiting and wishing, waiting and hoping, wondering if this opportunity has been missed forever, um, wondering if you will have to wait forever. This is somebody where I feel like you were all in, but they weren't. Like you weren't on the same page with this person. Maybe this person uh, was unfaithful. I have the Knight of Wands reversed here. Or it could be that what you want, you haven't been able to get. You haven't been able to go after what you want, which is happily ever after here. What's this High Priestess reversed about? There's the High Priestess reversed here. Queen of Swords Reverse. This is something that your person, I feel like, wasn't completely honest with you about or didn't say to you. Emperor, there you are, Aries. This is regarding you. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. Maybe this is someone finally having the courage to reach out here. Ten of Wands. This has been a burden for your person. Six of Wands at the bottom here. Eight of Cups reverse. Wow. Okay. I feel like this is something that this other person has kept buried. And on the outside, they're fine. But on the inside, I feel they're really weighed down. They're burdened by what they need to say, what they didn't say. This person, I feel, wants a new beginning, uh, maybe wants to leave a situation or return to you, but they can't. And also with the Ace of Swords reverse, there might not be any communication between you and this person. Or this person, if they were to return, they wouldn't be able to tell you everything. Why is that? Tell me about the Queen of Swords down here. What's this? What's the Queen of Swords down here? Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, this was... Um, this is something, your person wants to talk about what happened. Queen of Cups. It's almost like they want to reconcile or ask for forgiveness here. But we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. They're withdrawn. There's a disconnect. There's something here that's off. I have the Seven of Swords at the bottom here. 
It could be that this person has been just like thinking and thinking about what to say, how to say it with the hermit. Um, maybe thinking about the fact that there's a distance between you, how to bridge that gap. How are they going to be honest with you? Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. One more, please. Five of Cups Reverse. Yeah, this is all about getting what recovery. This is about recovery, reconciliation, asking for forgiveness. Someone wants to fix what happened in the past. Judgment. This is, yeah, they're evaluating the past, thinking about the past, possibly wanting a second chance a resurrection here. They're having an awakening or a personal wake-up call. Why is the sun down here with the strength card? Why is the sun down here with the strength card? Three of swords. Why is the sun down? Okay, the sun reverse. Three of coin reverse. So you both have the three of, and the seven of swords. You both have the three of coin reverse. There could have been some sort of interference here. I have the three of coin reverse and the three of swords. Something that was very painful that got in the way of this connection. It could be anything, family, a partner, cheating because I have the seven of swords here and then the sun reverse I feel like um you know this was something that was hidden that again someone wants to bring to the surface with the sun up right here and the strength card and the high priestess reverse this is like a secret being revealed something coming to the light I feel like if there wasn't a third party interference it got in the way of this connection if it wasn't another person, it was someone's deception. Okay, tell me about the Six of Pentacles reverse. Oh, okay. Seven of Swords. Yes, this keeps... This This wasn't fair to you, whatever happened, Aries. Whoever deceived the other, it wasn't fair to them. It caused an imbalance. Tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse. Someone could have even felt betrayed, abandoned... Someone could have really screwed up here. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. Two of Wands. I feel like someone is um <clears throat> waiting for forgiveness or waiting for someone to ask for forgiveness. And it just, with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, it just has not been the right time or things just haven't aligned. And I have temperance reverse at the bottom. So again, I feel like this is part of the waiting here. Two of Wands, someone trying to figure out what path to choose. I just heard past or future. So um, do I leave everything in the past or do I, uh, are we even going to have a future? You know, which is it? Which path to go down? Can I get one more for this Ten of Swords? Reverse, please. Four of Wands, again, I feel like someone's definitely like in a commitment here. Or this could be what's, what one of you wants to be in a commitment. To have an, yeah, to have an, a new beginning, Ace of Wands at the bottom here. Are we gonna have a new beginning? Are we gonna be together? That's the Queen of Cups reverse. The Queen of Cups reverse. Three of Cups reverse again with the third. Oh, I swear. <laughs> Higher font. I'm telling you, someone's definitely like in a commitment here. Taurus energy there. Ace of Cups reverse. It could be a loveless commitment or a commitment where there's no love. It doesn't matter. I feel like with the Queen of Cups reversed. Someone's like still heartbroken over what happened. It could have been this person and you you and this person were married and they cheated on you or had a third party get in the way of your marriage. It could be that this person left you and got married to someone else and was married this whole time, something like that. Um, and it's been really heartbreaking and not easy to let go of here. Can I get one more for the Queen of Cups reverse? Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's, it's like in the back of their mind, this might be you, Aries, or your person. They've always wanted a new beginning here. 
Six of Swords reverse. Maybe they've always wanted to return, but they haven't been able to move. Yeah, this would have to. Um, this would be somebody that would have to leave their situation in order to have this new beginning, or break free of their fear in order to have this new beginning. So let's look at the potential outcome. I don't have a mess here, but um, I'm going to pull a few cards, three cards here for the potential outcome, and then I'll be clarifying the potential outcome in the extended. Get some more information there. I'm also going to pull some of my secret moon cards to see what they're secretly thinking or feeling about you and what are their true intentions we're going to look at all of that in the extended and wrap it up with some advice maybe some timing so if this is resonating for you and you'd like to get more insight then check out the extended link in the description box below it's right under this video all right let's see potential outcome spirit between aries and this other person in the near future What's next for Aries and this other person? Okay. Ooh. We've got the King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Followed by the Tower with the Devil. <laughs> okay. Um, let me move these over so we can see. Knight of Wands, I mean, King of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, the Tower with the Devil. Jesus. Okay, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn, Scorpio, possibly. Signs don't really matter because there's an astrological sign for all 78 cards, so we're not going to get into all of the signs on this table right now. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Pentacles. So again, this running theme, I'm using a whole different deck here. And I'm still getting this theme of a long-term commitment somewhere here. Um, a commitment that maybe someone is trapped in or feels like it's unhealthy. Perhaps there's some sort of obsession or um, ba like bond here. An attachment here. I feel like this tower is something shocking, surprising that's going to hit this connection between you and this person. This could be anything, um, but it's something unexpected, Aries. I feel like it's something related to this long-term commitment or relating to whatever attachment this is with the devil. With the Knight of Pentacles, this is some sort of message, offer, an opportunity here. And the King of Wands, that courage, that bravery, that getting what you want going after what you want this could be the person that you are this could be you going after something or someone going after you here 